Okay, jumping right in. This is Diana and Kundinova singing In My Huge City. Big request right now. It is a lyric video. I don't know much what to do when reacting to lyric videos, but I will do my best to give you something of value. Here we go. Стенки тонкие груди в груди So th this is actually really different from from what I expected to hear. I haven't listened to Deanna in a really long time. Really quickly, since I, I kind of just jumped into this one. Hello, everybody. Welcome back again. My name is Brandon. I'm an acting coach. I try to react to music, film, TV, different kinds of things and stuff. I'm about to start a whole bunch of different content. A lot of live stuff. Things are happening. Patreon's changing. There's going to be different ways for you guys to engage with the content. You should have seen some graphics somewhere to inform you about that. But I want to tell you that I appreciate you for just being here and enjoying this content with me for liking, commenting, engaging with the video, moving up on 50,000 subs. Excited, excited to get there. But okay, about this piece, it is a lyric video. I'm not getting a whole lot, so I, I can't I can't really comment on like performance, obviously, because I'm not, I can't see her, right? Vocally, Deanna's always on point. The tone of this particular song, I don't know how much the cultural difference would play into this, but I don't really know what the song is about yet. And from the tone alone, it almost feels a little sultry. It feels a little romantic, a little bit dark. I don't know, like a James Bond feel to it. It feels like a classic sort of tragic love story type song or, or something along those lines. Again, I'm reading the lyrics, but I'm not being able to piece together a full narrative yet. We're just getting started. So I'm just going to keep going. Got to pause it every now and then just to keep copyright happy. If you want to see the full thing uncut, unedited, unaltered, if I do have to put, which I often do with Diana, I mean, very often have to do things to keep it from getting just blocked where you can't even see it. But if you want to see it in its entirety, uncut and everything, it will be available on the Patreon in the mixtape tier, which is $5 a month. Or Patreon now has a, has a way for me to offer these videos to you individually. So if you do not want to sign up for a subscription, $5 is too much. I'm going to have this set up. I'm not sure exactly how much, but you can get access to just this one video for a one-time donation of $1.50, maybe $2 US. I don't know exactly how that's going to look yet. I haven't done it yet, but once I get this put up, if I do end up having to edit it a little bit, it will be there for you. The links to all that will be in the description or possibly popping up right up here. That's also just a way for you guys to support the channel. If you enjoy what I do here, that little bit of support, just that dollar and a half, that $2 really does go a long way. It means a ton to me, to my family. It gives me more freedom to do more things like this. So if you want to support the channel, that's just another way for you to do it. That is actually a little easier on you guys, a little cheaper, a little simpler, and uh, hopefully it'll work out. You guys will really enjoy that. But for now, let's just jump back into this and uh, let's see see what the second verse brings. I'm, I'm hoping to get a little more clarification as far as the story of the song and the narrative and where that's going. It's beautiful, though. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> It feels very sultry, very sexy. I really like that moment. I'm going to go back. I really like it when the instrumentation really dropped out. Right about here. Beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Before we get into the climax, the very end of the song, yeah, I'm definitely getting the sense, even from the lyrics, a little bit. I could be wrong. Let me know down in the comments if I'm if I'm interpreting this incorrectly, but it de definitely feels like this is a person, maybe as a young girl, who's just sort of coming into her own, just sort of coming into her own identity, her own sort of autonomy, her 
wants, her desires, her goals, and and you know, approaching life from the perspective of what's right for her and what she feels and what she needs, and stepping out for the first time or for one of the first times into a world that is big and maybe scary, but certainly filled with wonders. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting from it, which is kind of a perfect song for someone at her stage in her career. I mean, she's what, like 19, maybe? Somewhere in that area. I think that this is a really good time for her to be exploring this sort of material. She can probably connect to it really well. So that's really impressive. So we're going to go back and finish this one off really quickly. Those backing vocals. That's beautiful. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. That was Diana Kondinova singing In My Huge City. Beautiful song. Really complica complicated lyrics. I think that I'm starting to really appreciate the Russian language. Now, I can't understand it directly, obviously. I'm just reading the translation, which probably doesn't quite do it justice. But from what I can tell from the translation, the language is lending itself very poetically. And it, it's like it has the ability to, to paint some pretty elaborate, pretty deep, layered, complex imagery, and I, I'm kind of sad that I can't just understand it, you know, without having to use the uh, translation. Thank you so much for being here. Once again, if you want the uncut, unaltered version, it will be on the Patreon. Please subscribe, like, comment, do all the things, engage with the channel. It really helps out. Please remember, as always, especially now, especially in these times, be kind to each other, and most importantly, be kind to yourself.